beer, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And oh, that's the steering. It's really sexy in my opinion. It's the same steering also in F2 and also in Formula E. Um, just the buttons are different and everything. I can switch the ignition on actually. Of the main page we are also using while driving. So if you have a tire puncture, you see it here. So it's for safety reasons they made it. Um, then you also have different pages you can change. Here you can do brake bias to set it before driving. Radio button, pit limiter, rain light, virtual safety car, fuel pump, and reverse. And then we have three rotaries here. This one we don't really use. This one is for the start, it's a clutch setting. And this one is engine mapping, um, also which we're using for the start. We have six pedals. The ones with the button are the clutches, um, because we have hand clutch here. Then of course the right side is upshift, downshift. And then this is the arrest, um, which you have to pull to activate it um, as soon as you go over that. The rest activation loop, and then as soon as you hit the brakes, it actually goes automatically. Uh, and that's kind of the steering wheel in FIA3. We have many buttons compared to Formula Regional, which we're using, but compared to endurance, it's nothing. And next week, I'm also going to film and explain you the buttons we have in endurance because that's incredible. And yeah, hope you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and then see you next time again. Yeah, yeah, yeah.